All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of 1,000 minus five to the power of 998. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite 1,000 here as 998 plus two. So now I have five to the power of 998 plus two minus five to the power of 998. And if I have something, we form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So five to the power of 998 plus two, that's gonna equal five to the power of 998 times five to the power of two. So I have this minus five to the power of 998. And now I'm gonna go ahead and factor out five to the power of 998. So now I have five to the power of 998 times, well, five to the power of 998 divided by five to the power of 998 is one, or sorry, five to the power of 998 times five to the power of two divided by five to the power of 998, that's five to the power of two, and negative five to the power of 998 divided by five to the power of 998 is negative one. So I have five to the power of 998 times five squared minus one. So now to solve this, well, first off, five squared this is equal to 25. So now I have five to the power of 998 times 25 minus one. Well, 25 minus one, that's simply 24. So I have five to the power of 998 times 24. So if I put this in a better format, 24 times five to the power of 998. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of X is equal to six. So obviously I wanna find the value of X here. So for my solution, I first start with five to the power of X is equal to six. And I'm actually gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log five to the power of X is equal to log six. Now, if I have something in the form log A to the power of B, this is the same thing as, I'm gonna actually move my exponent to the front. So it's gonna equal B times log a. So in this case, I have log five to the power of x, and I can move my exponent x to the front here. So this is gonna equal x times log five, which is equal to log six. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by log five, because we obviously wanna isolate x. So, these two cancel out and I'll have X is equal to log six over log five. Now, to solve this, we need the actual values of log six and log five. So if we plug those into the calculator, log six, this is equal to 0 0.77815. So this is what log six equals and log five. This is equal to 0 0.69897. If we plug these values in back into our equation here, we get X is equal to 0 0.77815 over 0 0.69897. And if we go ahead and divide these two, we get X is equal to 1.1 one, three. 
So this is my answer to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the, two, x to the power of 2x plus x to the power of x is equal to 20. So in the first, we write 2x as x to the power of 2 to the power of x. So now I have this plus x to the power of x is equal to 20. And this is true because a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now, if this is true, then this means that this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m, meaning x to the power of 2 to the power of x. That's the same thing as x to the power of x to the power of 2. Now I'm going to let x to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of 2 plus y is equal to 20. Now if I subtract 20 on both sides, I get y squared plus y minus 20 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I'm going to simply factor it. I can rewrite y here as negative 4y plus 5y. So now if I factor out, now if I factor by grouping, first we're going to start with y squared minus 4y. If I factor out y, I get y times y minus 4. And from 5y minus 20, if I factor out y, 5, I get y minus 4. So now I have y plus 5 times y minus 4 is equal to 0, meaning y is equal to negative 5 and 4. So now we aren't done yet because remember how we set x to the power of x equal to y. So let's first start with let's first start with 4 here. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 4. So we want 4 to be in the form x to the power of x, a number to the power of that same number. Well, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So I have 2 squared is equal to x to the power of x, meaning x is equal to 2. Now for negative 5, x to the power of x is equal to negative 5. And for negative 5, you can't actually put this in the form of a number to the power of that same number, meaning this is wrong. So my only solution to this problem is x equals 2.